The children are our future. We need to rely on them, the next generation, to get us out of this economic hellhole that we heard about yesterday and have been living in for years now. These children, these five and six year olds entering their first kindergarten education, are the outcome of our nation in just a few short years. They need to have the creativity, the originality, and most of all, the ingenuity to get us out of this mess. All traits that will be given to them for the arts in their young educational careers. Resolve that the United States Department of Education should mandate, edu mandate arts education in all public schools. Since the Middle Ages, schools have been adjusted to add arts into their system. In one of the first educations provided by the monks in the Middle Ages, they began teaching the monastic quadrivium, which contained arithmetic, geometry, astronomy, and music. Since the time period had very limited resources, astronomy was their means of getting around, so it would be like a modern day geography or history. So let's review. They took math, history, and yeah, that's right, music. From the earliest age and the earliest times, music has been a large part in every scholar's education. I talked to my Aunt Katie, an elementary school art teacher from Indian Creek Elementary School in Charlotte, North Carolina, about young arts education. Her response was very clear. She said, Kid need, kids need a way to express their emotions. They're young, so they don't know how to express themselves through words or writing yet. So they do, th do so through their artwork. From the, youngest age, from the youngest age to the scenario Taylor talked about, people need a form of expression. They can't keep things bottled up or let it overpower them. They need a way to let it out. I propose that we initiate a nationwide movement for this expression through the arts. The affirmative plan is pretty simple. The nation should mandate arts to, to they should mandate arts on a bi-weekly basis to elementary school kids, daily to middle school kids, and a, a one daily course throughout high school throughout your high school career. Most elementary and middle school kids, students have a switching system and how they change what type of art they take by semester. Our plan is to eliminate that and allow the students to choose what kind of art they want to take. Whether it be music, art, chorus, or even literary arts, allow the students to express themselves in a way they want to, instead of mandating a certain course for a certain time in the year. Of course, that won't limit any high schoolers that want to take more than one year of arts. The big question is always money. Money makes the world go round. On DegreeDirectory.gov, the average arts teacher has a salary of $54,000. The same source, the average elementary school teacher makes $58,000, middle school teacher makes fifty-seven, dollars and high school teacher makes sixty-one. dollars I believe that the salary of an arts teacher is a small price to pay when there is so much evidence towards the benefits of an arts education. It has been shown through research by the Educational Theater Association that at-risk 8th grade students are highly involved with the arts, have better grades, less likelihood of dropping out by grade 10, and have more positive attitude about school, and are more likely to go on to college. ArtsUSA.org has a graph that shows not even the average SAT scores for art students again non-art students, but how the art students outperform them. Reflecting solely on the reading and mathematics portion of the SATs, the average for averages for non-art students is a 973, while the average for art students is a 1075 for in the year 2010. The numbers are clear. Arts help. They help you with school, and more importantly, they help you with expression of self. Implementing an arts program in every school will only benefit this nation. Allow America's future to be the greatness we need it to be. Be smart, vote arts. Thank you.